Hi everyone, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you're at in your day. My name is Orissa. Thank you so much for being here. Today's practice is it's perfect for first thing in the morning to awaken the body and the mind and set your tone for a positive day. You can also do this anytime that you need a little reset, re-energize, refocus. So we'll start today's practice in a seated position. Cross-legged if you can, sitting up on a block or pillow to make it easier on the hips. Long spine, close your eyes. Bring your awareness inside. And we'll take a couple of deep breaths all together to cleanse and center. So take a deep breath in. Exhale out of your mouth. Keep exhaling all of that air out of the lungs. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale out of your mouth. One more time. Breathe in. Keep breathing in, pause, and exhale out of your mouth. Beautiful. On your next inhale, reach your arms all the way up and interlace your fingers except your index finger. Point those fingers up towards the sky and get as long as you can. Press the sit bones down into the earth as you reach up and get your spine so long, stretching everything out. Breathe deeply. Get long, take another breath in as you exhale, bring the arms down. Good. Just take a moment to pause and notice any energy movement or change in your body from that simple pose. Inhale, reach both of your arms up. As you exhale, the right hand comes down and reach up and over with your left arm. Maybe you can bring your forearm down, but it doesn't really matter. We're just stretching out the body, saying good morning, reaching up and over with your left hand, those left fingertips, breathing nice and deeply, creating space in the body. Inhale through center, exhale to the other side, left hand comes down, reaching up and over with your right hand. Stretch a little bit more. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Extend your right fingertips out to the right and bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. You can take your left hand and just gently place it on your head to stretch out the neck, but you're not putting a lot of pressure at all with the hand. It's just lightly intensifying the stretch and you don't even need it there but breathe into the side of your neck. Take that left hand to the left side of your head and push it up to center. Good, and we'll go the other way. So the left hand extends, and then drop your head over to the right. You can take your right hand and just gently place it on the side of your head, pulling it so you're getting extra length, in the muscles of your neck, your shoulder, even your arm. Beautiful. Right hand to the outside of your head, push it up to center. Good. Just roll your shoulders up and back a couple of times, circling them out. We'll go the other way, so rolling the shoulders forward. Good. And now just roll your neck a couple of times. One way. Then a couple of times the other way. Beautiful, and come back to center, pause. So we're gonna do a breathing exercise to bring lots of energy into the body. So it's called Kapalbhati Pranayama, 
and we'll just do kind of a basic version today. Essentially, we're making the exhalations active and the inhalations are passive. So we're breathing with the belly, in and out through the nose, and as you exhale, you're pulling the belly in actively, and then the inhales just happen, they just happen, you don't have to think about it. So I'll just demonstrate a few. It might look a little bit weird, um, and then we'll do a, a bunch of them all together. So I'm just going to lift my shirt up here so you can see my belly. Okay, so start by taking a deep breath in. I'll just show you. Exhale completely out. So I'm going to inhale halfway, and then I'll begin. So I'm exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Okay, so, good. Now we're going to try it all together. So, ideally you're sitting cross-legged, hands on your knees. Again, please sit up on a pillow or a block to lift up the hips. Nice long spine. You can do this with the eyes open or closed. So take a deep breath in. Exhale out of your mouth, completely let it go. And then inhale halfway, and then we'll begin. If you have to go a little bit slower, that's okay. Yes, keep going, focusing on those exhales. Let's just do a few more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Inhale, take a deep breath. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, just forget about the breath. Completely relax, close the eyes. Maybe lift your gaze to the point between your eyebrows. And just pause here, feeling any energetic feelings in your body or any change. Good, so we're going to do one more round. If you're sitting cross-legged, switch your legs so that the opposite um, foot is in front. Just to even out the hips. So sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go, and then we'll inhale halfway to begin. Good, keep going a little bit more if you can. Keep focusing on those active exhales. Exhale, exhale, exhale. For five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely and fold forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Forget the breath. Sit in stillness and just observe. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Cleansing breath, let it go. Good. And now if Ujjayi breath, is part of your practice, that breath of victory. You can begin that now. If it's not part of your practice, just breathe deeply in and out through your nose with intention of creating space with each exhale and invigorating the body with each inhale. So our intention today is to energize and to awaken the body and to just get ready to have an amazing day. Let's 
let's move together and wake this body up. Okay, come onto your hands and knees. Let's do a couple rounds of cat cow. Always good to do in the morning. So the inhale, the belly drops, lift your gaze. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Moving with your breath, just gently. Pulling the navel to your spine as you exhale. Opening your heart as you inhale. Beautiful, come back to a neutral spine. Walk the knees back, walk the hands forward. And then pressing into your fingertips, begin to melt your chest towards the earth. Keep the hips stacked over top of the knees. Lift your elbows up as you press your chest down. The armpits are lifting up as well, getting a beautiful stretch across the chest and the shoulders. Breathe here. Amazing, and come back up to hands and knees, and then just sit back on your heels. Tent the fingertips behind you. Start with just lengthening the heart up. Begin to lift your gaze, and then press the tops of your feet and your shins down into the mat, and have that grounding, rooting down action actually help lift the pelvis up a little bit and just get a bit more buoyant as you arch back a little bit. Squeeze the elbows and shoulder blades together. Broadening the chest. Deep breaths. Two more full breaths here. Amazing. Come back to your hands and knees. Now we'll come into a nice twist. Ground down through the left fingertips. Inhale. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Open that chest. And as you exhale, thread your right arm through, bring the shoulder all the way down onto the mat. Tend the left fingertips on the mat and just use them to roll your chest open. If you want to add more stretch for your left shoulder and chest, you can take that left arm, reach it behind the back, maybe just reaching for your low back. Or if you can have the opening, you can reach for your right inner thigh. Roll open. Beautiful twist for the spine in the morning. Amazing. If you went for the uh, half bind, release the left hand down. Plant it next to your head and press yourself all the way up to tabletop. Good. Take a full breath here. Inhale, exhale. The right fingertips ground down and inhale. Reach your left arm up. Stretch the chest. Exhale. Thread that arm through. Come down onto your shoulder. Bring your ear down to the mat. You can tent the right fingertips and just stay here, twisting the chest open. Or if you want to go for the half bind, reach for your low back. Maybe you can reach your inner thigh. Wherever you are, just breathe into this twist for your spine. So good to keep the spine healthy. Beautiful. If you did, go for the bind. You can release that hand down. Press into the right hand and come back up into tabletop. Good. Pack your toes behind you. Lift those knees up. Downward facing dog. So this is most likely your first down dog of the day. So take it easy. The knees can be really nice and bent. The heels nice and lifted. Maybe walk the dog out a little bit. Or maybe it feels better for you to just stay in stillness and breathe space into the spine and into the legs.
On your next inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, beginning from the pelvis, roll forward, bring the shoulders right over top of your wrists, plank pose. Good. Inhale here. Fingertips pressing into the earth. And then option, you can bring the knees down. Of course, we'll lower slowly all the way down to the earth, squeezing the elbows towards your rib cage. Touching down, untuck your toes. Inhale, baby cobra pose, lifting the chest up. The tops of the feet and your pelvis are pressing down into the mat. Stay lifted and breathe here. So inhale and exhale. And now keep the chest lifted and extend your arms alongside the body. Palms facing each other, fingers spread wide. Lift the chest a little bit more. And now interlace your hands behind the back. Broaden the chest even more. Lift up, awaken the muscles in your back body. Release the hands, exhale, slowly curl down. Tuck the toes, press up, come through tabletop and then make your way into downward facing dog. Good. One more full breath in your down dog. Inhale, lift the heels way up high, gaze forward, pull the belly in. Exhale, soften your knees. You can step. If you're ready to jump your feet forward, go for it. But bring your feet forward between your hands, hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins, get a nice long spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips, exhale, pull the belly in as you rise, and then sweep your arms up, inhale, full expression, get long, exhale, hands to your heart, beautiful. Inhale, sweep the arms up, long spine, exhale, fold forward, soft knees, inhale, halfway lift, plant the hands, step your right foot back and bring that knee down. Good, pause here. Look up and sink your hips down. Take a breath. Plant your hands, lift the back knee up, step into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, roll forward into plank, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone down. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, slowly lower yourself to the earth, untuck the toes. Good. Inhale for cobra, open the chest. Exhale, stay lifted, relax the shoulders away from your ears. Good. Reach those arms back and then interlace the hands, open the chest even more, keep breathing. On your next exhale, the hands come back down, tuck the toes. See if you can press yourself straight up through plank to downward facing dog. Move through tabletop if you need to, of course. Inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee, open up your hips towards the left. Yes, keep pressing evenly into both of your hands, all of your fingertips. Fingers spread really wide, most of the weight in your fingertips, not your wrists. Inhale, exhale, bring your knee towards your nose and step your foot next to the left thumb, bring the back knee down, yes, good. Inhale, press in your heel, rise up, have your hands on your knee or reach them up. Arch back, open the chest, smiling, breathing, energy into the body. Exhale, hands come down. Fingertips to the earth, lift the back knee up. Step closer with your back leg. Bring all of the weight into your left leg and reach your right leg up to the sky, standing splits. Is it too early in the morning for standing splits? I say never. Fold towards your standing leg, lift that heel up higher, and then bring your right foot down, both feet together at the front of your mat. Good, inhale halfway. And exhale, fall. Shake it out, take an extra breath. 
Inhale, halfway, hands to your hips. Exhale, pull the belly in as you rise. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, straight back down. Beautiful. Halfway lift, long spine. Fingertips come down, step your left leg back and bring the knee down. Pause here, sink the hips, lift your gaze a little bit. Open the hips with your breath. Beautiful. Plant your hands, lift the back knee, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, like a wave rolling into plank. Yes, pause here. Inhale. As you exhale, the elbows bend, lower with strength to the earth. You can always bring the knees down to modify. Inhale for cobra. Slowly curl down as you exhale and make your way into downward facing dog. Good. Inhale your right leg up. Bend your knee, open up your hips towards the right. Keep pressing evenly into both of your hands. Open those hips. Enjoy where you're at. Good morning, body. Inhale here, exhale, bring your knee forward and step the right foot next to the right thumb. Back knee comes down, good. Press into the right heel, rise up. You choose where you want your hands to go. But sink the hips down and lift the chest up and smile and breathe deeply. Breathe with the intention of bringing energy into your body. Arch back a little, exhale, hands come down. Fingertips to the earth, lift the back knee up. You know where we're going now, standing splits, step closer and then lift your left leg up as much as you can. Start with the long spine and fold towards that right leg. Yes, you've got this. Lift the left heel a little bit higher. Doesn't matter how deep you're going in this pose right now at all. <laughs> Exhale, bring the left foot down, soft knees. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your hips, exhale, pull your belly in as you rise. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, circle them back down, interlace them behind the back. Broaden the chest, soften your knees, gaze up, squeeze the elbows and the palms towards each other. And then from here, bend at your hips and fold forward. Bring your chest onto your thighs if you can, and then the hands can come overhead. Shake your head out, shake it yes, shake it no. Let go of some tension. You don't need to be tensing your neck muscles here at all. This has got to be one of my favorite stretches ever. Such a good stretch to start your amazing day. Oh, I love it. One more full breath. Good, take one more inhale, exhale, release your hands down. Whew, very good. Soften the knees, inhale, halfway lift, come up. And we're gonna come into a twist, so bring the left fingertips in front of the right foot, bend the left knee deeply, and then twist open towards the right. Reach your right arm up towards the sky, yes. If this is too much for your legs, you can always uh, bring your hand onto your shin, or if you have a block, or a book or something to bring your fingertips up to make it a bit easier for you, then that is perfect. So twisting the chest open. Exhale, bring the right hand down, just shake it out at center, and we'll go the other way. So come to a halfway lift first, long spine, right fingertips in front of the left toes, and then twist towards the left. 
the right knee is bent, the left leg is straight, and modify as you need to. And use props if you have them, or pillows, or you know, anything that you have can be used. One more breath in, and as you breathe out, bring the left hand down. Shake it out here at center, amazing. Bend the knees so you can plant your hands down and step back into down dog. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, roll forward into plank. Pause here and stay strong. And now, side plank, roll to the left, reach your right arm up towards the sky. You can have your feet stacked, you can have one foot in front of the other, you can bring your bottom knee down, you can reach your top leg up, you can do whatever you want here, uh, as long as it's some kind of a variation of side plank that feels good for you today. Lift the hips up, squeeze your obliques, pull the navel towards your spine, one more breath. Bring the right hand down, great job. We'll go straight to the other side. So roll to the right and reach your left hand up towards the sky. Again, stacked feet, one foot in front of the other. Bring the knee down, lift the top leg up, etc. Lift the hips a little bit higher, squeeze your side waist. Press into the right fingertips. Amazing, bring the left hand down, regular plank, and then send the hips high, downward facing dog. Pedal up the feet. Pause, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, roll, forward plank pose. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows lower down to the earth, untuck the toes, yes. Inhale for cobra. Pause and breathe. Extend the arms back. Keep that chest lifted. Keep that intention of breathing energy into the body. And as you exhale, breathing out toxins and just use the breath to cleanse the body. Getting rid of old stagnant energy that you no longer need. Exhale, curl back down. Good. We'll go into a deeper backbend variation now. You can, of course, just do cobra or up dog, if that's your modification for today. Otherwise, bend your knees. And we'll start by lifting the chest just a little bit, and then reach your hands back, thumbs pointing down, grab the tops of your feet or your ankles. Knees should be hip width apart. Spread your toes as much as you can to bring some engagement into your feet. Good. Lift a little bit higher, lift the chest, and now use the power of your legs. Kick your feet back. Open up the chest and breathe here in this incredible back bend, heart opening, enlivening, energizing place. See for three more breaths if you can, come out early if you need to, and just lay on your belly. Kick those feet back a little more and then with control, slowly come back down. Take a cheek to the mat, release your feet, arms at your sides, take a breath here. <sighs> Exhale out of an open mouth. If you turned your head one way, just turn your head the opposite way, bring your other cheek to the mat to balance out the neck. Beautiful, and come back to center. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders, tuck those toes. If you can, press straight up into plank, and then downward facing dog, or come into down dog however you like. Inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step your foot next to your right thumb, bring the back knee down, and then wiggle your foot across the mat to come into pigeon. So bring the shin, 
down, the right knee is behind the right wrist, the shin is across the mat. For more depth, you can just wiggle the uh, left knee back. It's okay if the hips are lifted. You can put a pillow or a block under the hips if you'd like. Start with a long spine and exhale, slowly come forward. And breathe into your hips. A fan favorite, everybody loves pigeon pose. We'll take about four or five more breaths. So here, let's really focus on just releasing tension or releasing anything that we don't need, be that emotional or physical tension, stress. Just clear it all out. Beautiful. Take your time. Take your time. Nice and slow. Come back up onto your hands. Tuck the back toes. We'll come into downward facing dog. Uh, take your time. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Any kind of movements that you need. Maybe extend that leg up or come through table or vinyasa. Whatever the body's asking for to help you accept that and release any leftover tension in that right leg. Good, and then we'll come into down dog and reach your left leg up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the knee forward. Step your foot next to the left thumb, bring the back knee down. And wiggle your foot across the mat. Shin comes down. The right knee goes further back to deepen the pose. Start with a long spine, find your place, and then you can come forward. So still breathing powerfully and with intention. The inhalations are still energizing, and the exhalations, especially here, are cleansing and relaxing and helping us to let go. Relax the muscles in your forehead. Relax the muscles of your jaw. And relax your shoulders as well. Absolutely beautiful. Take your time to come all the way up and we'll make our way into down dog. Do some movements that feel good for you. Beautiful. So from your downward facing dog, walk your hands back towards your feet and then take your feet wide. So take them at least off of your mat, if not a lot wider. And then keep walking your hands back so that you're coming into a nice wide leg fold. I'm just going to turn sideways so that you can see this. So the feet can be nice and wide, hands under your shoulders. Get a nice long spine and then exhale, fold. Deep breaths. Come up halfway again and then just bend into your right knee. 
Send the butt back as you bend deeply into that knee. Plant your left hand underneath the left shoulder and then reach your right arm up towards the sky. Twist open and lean your chest away from your right thigh. Keep bending deeply into that knee. Twist the chest open. Let it feel really good and energizing. And exhale, bring the right hand down, straighten both legs out, pause. Inhale and exhale here. Good, and then begin to bend into your left knee this time. Sitting the butt back as you bend deeply into your knee. Plant the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Twist open towards the left. Reach your left arm up and open the chest. Keep bending nice and deep into your left knee. Open your chest, smile. Beautiful, one more breath here. Exhale, bring the left hand down, straighten your legs. Fold in as much as you can. Amazing, come back up. Begin to walk your hands forward as you walk your feet back together to come back into downward facing dog. Awesome, last downward dog. Stretch it out, press those heels towards the earth, straighten your legs as much as you can, and then come through into seated. Good, we'll just do one more stretch. So bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, lift up the hips if you're feeling tight, no worries at all. Nice long spine, if this is your place and you're already feeling a stretch, that's perfect. Stay here, otherwise you can come forward. Keeping the spine long and the breath nice and deep. Amazing, come all the way up. Bring your hands to the outside of the knees to bring them together and come down onto your back. Beautiful, and then just curl yourself up into a little ball, lift your forehead towards your knees, give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze, and then release everything down, coming into Shavasana. Shake out the body and then just let it go. So feet coming to the corners of your mat to allow them to flop open, arms at your sides, palms up turned to receive positive energy, heart open, muscles relaxed, let everything go.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Bring some movement to your fingers and to your toes. And notice how, as you deepen your breath, this new flood of energy comes into the body, into all of your cells. So use that, use that prana, that life energy that is all around us and within us, and focus it to energize and awaken your body. On a long inhale, you can extend your arms overhead, reaching your fingertips away from your toes, getting a full body, good morning stretch. And then when that's done, roll onto your right side and pause, use your arm as a pillow. Gently press into your hands and come into a seated position, sitting up on a pillow or something if you can. Lengthen the spine and close your eyes. Feel that peace and energy all throughout your body. And remember that today is a new beginning. And just, you can repeat this little affirmation after me, just mentally or aloud, or don't repeat it, <laughs> that's fine too. Today represents a day for a new beginning. I greet this day with fresh eyes and a fresh mind. I am focused, excited, and ready to take on whatever comes my way with a positive attitude. If you are new to affirmations and you think this is a little bit weird, that's okay. I encourage you to try it anyway. Um, it's good to get out of your comfort zone and just try something new even if it is a bit weird and it might feel strange at first, but honestly, when we repeat these positive thoughts to ourselves, we're retraining the mind. And the mind plays a vital role in creating our personal life experience. So give it a go. Tell yourself, I am amazing. I am amazing. I am amazing. <laughs> How can that not feel good? <laughs> Be silly, have fun. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope that you carry this positive energy with you for the rest of your day and that you have a great one. Lots of love. Namaste.